a nation on your shoulders. Kane Williamson and his team. From being underdogs of world cricket and being underrated, the rise of the Black Caps started way back when they were just bundled for 45 runs against South Africa at Cape Town. And it was Brendan McCullough, the skipper at that time, who took the initiative and changed the brand of New Zealand cricket. But they were so unlucky when it came to ICC tournaments. Lost to Sri Lanka in two semi-finals, lost to Australia in 2015 finals, and then came the biggest heartbreak at Lords against England. Scores were tied. The Super Overs were tied and then came that ridiculous ICC law of victory given over the number of boundaries scored in the match. New Zealand would have never ever thought even in their wildest dreams that few boundaries would cost them the World Cup. But what made the whole world feel for their loss? And that is where the Kiwis stand out. Brendan McCallum checking on Akhilata Nanjir when hit on the face. And also apologizing to Kumar Sangakkara for stopping him getting his century. Grant Elliott lifting Dale Stein. The under-19 Kiwis carrying an injured West Indian player. And then this man, Kane Williamson, just adds more icing on the cake. He lifting Carlos Brathwaite up in the 2019 World Cup. Kane celebrating his birthday with Sri Lankan fans during a warm-up match. And the list just goes on. Any other captain would have easily argued over the World Cup loss because of the unfair calls and the umpiring mistakes. But what Kane Williamson all said was never expect anything from anyone in life and also never blame others for your own faults. So for all those sportsmanship qualities and discipline showed by the Kiwis and the determination and the effort they have put in, the Kiwis surely deserves this victory. The very land where they were deceived, they were proud as the world champion.